Hello. So previously, we learned to find the area of a shape. For example, the area of a rectangle is found by multiplying the height by the width. Since there's only two elements of the figure, the figure is two-dimensional. For example, on this piece of paper here, we only have the width and the height. There's no other dimension to the shape. So to find the area, we would start by measuring. And we are going to measure in centimeters since these objects are rather small. So we can see here the width of this square. Width equals six centimeters. The height is also six centimeters, which we could have surmised because it is a square, but we'll measure. So the height is also six centimeters. So since this is a two-dimensional figure, we will only be multiplying the two elements, the height and the width. So six times six equals 36. And they're centimeters. And we're gonna write centimeters squared. It's a two-dimensional figure. We're figuring out the area. So it's centimeters squared there. So as we can see, if we introduce a cube From the top, it looks very similar, and they actually are the same size. But there is an additional element. You can see we have the height, the width, and now we're introducing a third element, which is the depth. And you can see our, our area example here, our square, does not have that third element of depth. So to measure that way, we're gonna measure here, six centimeters. And here and now we're working on the cube. So the width was six centimeters. Let's see the height. What do you know? Six centimeters. And then now we're going to flip it over and we're going to measure the depth. And the depth. If we have a proper cube, should also be six centimeters. And as we can see here, we now have three elements. So when we write our answer, we're gonna make sure to incorporate that little three at the top. It's gonna be to the third power. So we're going to do six times six times six. So we have six times six is 36. And 36 times six you need to get your calculator, it is 216 centimeters, and one, two, three, a three-dimensional object, 216 centimeters cubed. If we change our manipulative here from a cube to, let's see, what make some kind of rectangle here. So now we have a rectangle. So we're going to write that here. Okay, let's go ahead and measure this guy up. What do we have here? We have six centimeter is the width. centimeters. Let's see the height. The height there is 13 centimeters. And let's see our depth. Should be right here. That's three centimeters. So using the same concept and multiplying the width by the height by the depth, we're going to do six times 13 times three. And if you plug that into your calculator, 
you should get 234, what? Centimeters to the three cubed. 